you set up the uh, minimum OSD to use 5 volts, you have to solder this jumper pad right here and then this jumper pad right here. To take this Mobius dock station apart, you just take these two screws out at the rear of the Mobius dock with the Phillips head screwdriver and pull the lid off. I've already taken this apart and put on a longer power lead but this is just a uh, FT952 200 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. The voltage regulator here that knocks it down the input voltage down to 5 volts to charge your uh, Mobius but it has a little uh, four pin connector here you have your positive, your negative the white is audio and the yellow is video so this is covered with all kinds of glue I have a syringe full of isopropyl alcohol that may or may not take this off. have to separate the yellow wire and try to desolder it. Rubber, glue, rubber cement that they put on there would probably be better off being epoxy or hot glue. There we go. A little bit of isopropyl alcohol squirted on to the, uh, the glue. We'll take that off. So now I'll uh, solder a wire that goes to the minimum OSD for the video out. So I printed out some labels and labeled this because this is the only connector I have, a JST connector. I don't have a uh, yellow wiring or anything so I'm just going to use a JST connector. So this pin is the video in, this pin is the video out. Now I'll take my video out and solder it to the yellow and put some uh, heat shrink on it. So now I have a modified voltage regulator that connects up to my Mobius here. I'll uh, probably put some hot glue on here to keep these wires uh, from getting pulled. I put a little dab of hot glue on here to hold the cables so that they're not moving around. So your little uh, voltage regulator board here plugs into your transmitter. And then it goes into this little uh, holder here. Now the uh, voltage regular board snaps back in there. Make sure all the hot glue is off, no strings or anything sitting on here to interfere. And the cables route here. And this snaps back in there. And then put this back on there. And then put the two screws back in. Extended my power cable on here so that my Mobius could sit clear out front and still be able to reach my battery pack. Um, this is the factory installed GST connector which is only a couple 
centimeters long. And I've got my video in and out coming from my Mobius, going to my Minim OSD, going back into the transmitter, and going out to my goggles. And then on this side we'll have four wires coming in, um, the ground, the plus five, and the RX and TX. So I checked my order on Hobby King and this is what I ordered the Minimo SD and all the cables that are supposed to come with it. Here's the cables that came with my Minim OSD. Uh, these are not the cables that are advertised on the website that is supposed to come with this. Uh, I believe this is for a PixHawk or APM. Or so someone at Hobby King messed up and uh, sent me the wrong package because these cables are useless. I made a cable out of JST connectors. You can buy these posts on eBay for about a hundred of these for under five dollars. So I'll be soldering up the TX and the RX on the Naze 32. Then I take some uh, isopropyl alcohol and a uh, microfiber cloth, spray some alcohol in there, and go over the board and take off the flux. So on the RX, which is black, you have to reverse it on your NAS32, so it's TX. So this pin here is the TX, so your jumper will on there like that. This bottom pin is negative, this middle pin is positive, and this top pin is the signal, which you don't need. Um, if you only have a quadcopter where you have only these first four taken up, you can use these last two. If you're using like a octocopter or a hexcopter, you'll have to solder jumpers onto here. I have this uh, Q-Brain 4 ESCs in 1 and 20 amp. One lead has all three wires, the other leads only have the signal wire. So now I'll hook my ESC up. I have these all numbered. Number 1 goes in the first slot. Uh, number two is the cable that provides all the power. Number three, and then number four. For my receiver, I'm using a Lemon RX DSMX uh, diversity antenna, a satellite receiver that I bound to my uh, DX8 through the uh, AR8000 receiver. And with these spectrums, you can solder these three pins on and I have a jumper which supplies the three volts to the satellite receiver. Plug it in, make sure orange goes to orange. So I've got lights on my Naze 32. I've got lights on my Minim OSD. A light on my Mobius. I have the Quantum 2 goggles and a RX 5822 receiver. So you can see that I have a on-screen display which is completely useless to me right now because Hobby King has no FTDI 5 volt USB adapters in stock and they've been out of stock for over a year from what I've read on the forums. So I've ordered one off of eBay for four dollars and some change. So I'm hoping that it is compatible with this uh, uh, minimum OSD.